first met Michael about four years ago, I was asked to do a wedding. Maybe some of you may have been there for Sven and Marsha. Uh, it was off 510, above toward Big Bay. Uh, I know Diana was there with me, but uh, this was a, a great wedding. It was in a, in a glen, right, Michael, down underneath the hills there off 510, outdoors. A stream was running, running through uh, the, the little valley there. There were great trees around us. And uh, we were waiting for the bride, who was with all these kids that, that, that attended the wedding, and she was coming down a trail, so we had a little waiting time, but we had all these dogs with us. So uh, we invited you know, people to call out the dogs' names, and we were honoring, welcoming the dogs to the circle by the stream. But in the service that I had been invited to officiate at, at this particular wedding ceremony, this guy sang a song, and when I heard him, <laughs> where did this guy come from? This is, this is incredible. And then they told me, well, he lives off the grid with his family. He lives off the grid, no electricity, no running water. And uh, I said, one day, I'm going to bring him here and have him share his gift with, with the wider community. So thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, we have an intermission coming and a special, uh, a, another special guest with us, Hurricane David. Uh, Hurricane, where are you? Can I see your hand? There he is. Uh, Hurricane, I'm gonna ask also, I'm gonna invite the kids, there we have a lot of kids here tonight, and I'm gonna invite uh, some of the kids to come up and sit over here so they can watch you, watch you play here during, after the intermission. But uh, let me just say a few words here. David Van Clay, are you here or did you slip out? He's leaving for Columbia. Is David here? Yeah. Where are you, David? Raise your hand, will you? Right. Okay. Uh, can we have a hand for this guy? custodian up in a church in, up in uh, Nagani. Had a, what I heard, he's had a long ponytail. And uh, he ended up going to the seminary and then served in parishes here in northern Michigan and small parishes, Wakefield, Amasaw, for, for a while in Michigan. Then went out to Custer, South Dakota, and now he's returned. And he's a pastor here at Messiah Lutheran Church and is our host and He's leaving for Columbia in about three days with uh, uh, a, a crew of about eight or nine delegates. Helen's going, going with him. And uh, just thank you, David, for uh, hosting the Cedar Tree Institute here tonight. And the, the, uh, blessings on your work and your mission. Our privilege. Thank you.
skies of gold. You can see the sunshine reflecting on reflecting on pieces of snow and it knows it will be summer for soon. different than this. I live in the high desert about 3,400 feet at the entrance to Joshua Tree National Park. We have some incredible things out there just like you have here. A lot of wildlife, natural spectacles. And this is a song called Miles of Wonder about that area. this coffee, slip into some clothes and gain control. All across these miles of wonder, this distant thunder rumbles through my soul. And the mariposa lily, it opens on the hillside, an aromatic gesture, dip toward the sunrise. Now all this compels me, beckons me like cherries in a bowl. All across these miles of wonder, this distant thunder rumbles through my soul. is valuable to me as pots of gold. All across these miles of wonder, this distant thunder rumbles through my soul. Oh, I can feel the magic flowing west from Music Valley and choirs of Nolino harmonized with ancient junipers. Now all the riffs of nature play the medley as the rhythm starts to roll. distant thunder rumbles through my soul. But purposely some tales left untold All across these miles of wonder This distant thunder rumbles through my soul All across these miles of wonder This distant 
distant thunder rumbles through my soul. All across these miles of wonder, this distant thunder rumbles.